In lesson two of the assembly modeling course, we teach mate references and using copy with mates. In this part, I've set up a mate reference with this outside circular edge. That's it, only selected the edge, no other options were changed. Now, if I accept this and save and close, then I can drag this part in from the design library and add a mate automatically. Now, as impressive as it is that it snaps into position here, it's even better when I go one step further. If I press tab, notice how it rotates by 90 degrees. And when I drop this and explore the feature tree, I'll clearly see that three mates were added, a concentric, another concentric, even though there was no mate reference regarding this, and a coincident mate. How is that working? One of the exercises in this lesson applies using copy with mates. But let's take a look at how else we can do this. If I open up this gasket and create a mate reference, I simply select that edge, OK, save my changes, and close. Now I'll drag and drop that over to this face. Now it seems to line up as well, but I can still rotate it. So why didn't it figure out the geometry lining up here like it did with the housing? Well, let's take a look at how this was made. When I look at these holes, I see cut extrude two creates all three of these. So let's make a little change there. I'll edit sketch six, make these two circles for construction. And now there's only one hole in the middle. I'll insert a sketch on this face, convert entities of those old circles, cut up to next, hide this sketch, and save my changes. Now I'll repeat that procedure for my gasket. I'll try dragging in a new gasket again. Again, it seems to snap into place, but let's make sure. Again, it does not fully constrain it. I can still rotate this because it only added two mates, concentric and coincident. So why didn't it figure out that these two line up with each other? Well, let's go one step further. Rather than cutting both of these holes, let's cut them separately. But rather than simply creating two sketches and two extruded cuts, instead, let's use a circular pattern and pattern it around the face that's associated with that other concentric mate. Equally spaced two. Save my changes. Repeat the process with the gasket. Save. Now when I bring in a new gasket, it's fully defined. It figured out that third mate based on the fact that they both have the seed component with a pattern associated with the face. If I drag this over to this one, it still doesn't work. Both sides need to be created the same way for this mate reference to work.